All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. We're here to do some short story reads. This is where you pick your box. And um, I do maybe two to three stories from each of these box, depending on how long the readings go. I call them short stories, but um, sometimes they're not so short. Okay, guys? So pick your box. This is going to be box one and box two. I will put the timestamps down below in the description box so you can, you know, skip right over to your reading. All right, guys. But before you do that, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, sending me good energy only means you're going to get good energy back. Okay, guys. So pick your box and I will see you guys at your readings. All right. Box number one. Let's see what your story is. I'm going to use the index cards to get the story. I'll break it down further with the tarot. Okay, guys. All right, we have ooh, split, underage. I saw the graduation card, so somebody could have, or is about to graduate. Could be a senior this year. Too wild. Hiding face. Talking shit behind the screen. Okay. So there could be some online bullying, maybe. King Kong ain't so big. <laughs> it could be somebody who's. Mm -hmm. We have underage again. on your plate, wicked game, St. Patrick's Day, and um, okay, hmm, too wild, maybe underage, but somebody's still too wild, be sneaking off the side window maybe to go drink okay we have st patrick's day i mean well, i think it has something to do with um maybe drinking too much hiding face talking shit behind the screen someone you know king kong ain't so big wicked games too much on your plate and this is somebody who tries to come off like very smart they're playing games, you know, they could be talking shit, you know, they're, you know, everybody's really, you know, can talk a big game when they're, you know, hiding behind a screen. Um, so this is somebody who has like fake profiles who talk shit. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the underage is. Okay, I want to say that I think this has something to do with, like, someone's past. Yeah, when someone was very wild at one point, they would sneak out the side window to go party and drink, you know. You know, they were kind of wild when they were younger, yeah. Because they didn't, there was a lot of confusion. They act a fool when they don't have, um proper guidance you know we have the king of wands this is somebody who you know all the kids are clamoring for the dad this is like like maybe a, a feminine energy that didn't have a, a healthy male role model in her life and you know they try to go find that daddy figure from you know inappropriate relationships so yeah this person probably did you know act a fool when they were a kid you know it's again it's like this lost guidance you know you know lost kid you know with no guidance so okay so that's what I get this uh, was in the past and when they were younger they were a little wild uh, they would sneak out a side window you know go party yeah they rejected that though yeah they got smart <laughs> they got smart. They rejected whatever, you know. Look at how she, this person's like throwing the cup over. And it's like, no, I'm, 
so this person probably doesn't drink. <clears throat> I said, I said, I heard much. <laughs> I heard much. So this person, if they do drink, they, they, they try to, you know, they don't want to get like crazy drunk. <laughs> Like you don't want to put yourself in a in a situation. This person could kind of might get mm, a little wild when they drink too much, so that's why they don't drink very often. They have to be with somebody that they know they can trust if they're gonna drink, because um, you know it's like I trust that you're not gonna let me get too crazy. <laughs> I don't know. It's like. If I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna need a babysitter. Not like in a crazy way where, um, I don't know, I just, I hear it too friendly. You can get too friendly. Um, and not in a, in a weird, like, sexual way. It's just like, but people can, I, I, uh, okay. We're gonna move away from that, so anyways people this person doesn't drink much if they do they want somebody around that they know they can trust that will keep them safe because you know sometimes they could get a little too you know nice and and my kind of it might come off flirty that's what that's yeah this person's like i have a family uh a, a, you know a, a business a company or something some a reputation that i have to uphold i don't want you know to get too shit face <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that big cup of wine and that sexy man, and it got me acting a fool. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> Let's see. So this person, you know, maybe they might not have um, too much of a wild side now. I think it's like, I don't know, kind of tempered down. They, they found, you know, some, some balance in their life. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> let's look at this hiding face talking shit behind the screen. Okay. So it's like in an, in a, in attempt to slow your work down. It's like maybe attacking you. They think that you're going to be like, Oh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Like, so if they're like talking a lot of shit, they're hoping that it's gonna make you feel some kind of way, and then you'll choo change course when it comes to work. Mm, you see through their bullshit, and it's gonna be very disappointing for this person to find out that you don't care, and you're gonna continue. You know, this person, um, they might be talking <clears throat> shit behind a screen, but you don't care. I heard you even know, you know, yeah, with the with the moon, you're not, you're not. They try to they try to conceal who it is, who they are because they don't want. I heard they don't want you to. Yeah, you don't. They don't really want you to go after them, so they have to hide behind a fake profile because if they f if they're afraid, if you find out who is the one talking shit that you're gonna like, you know, point your um, rifle at them and you know, take them out. <laughs> not literally. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing violence here. Okay. Yeah. This person sees you as very strong. They want you to walk away. They want you to feel rejected or reject something that you're working on. Mm. Okay. So this is, that's who's talking shit behind the screen. What's this King Kong ain't so big? What can you tell me about King Kong being so big? This is somebody who's seen as big, strong. Okay. And then here you come with your sword. And they don't know how to get out of this situation. They think you're so sexy. They watch you on a platform, but they they're sad. They're sad because they know they, they like have to end this because of their work. They know that loving you is wrong. <laughs> 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 Lo 
loving you is wrong, pile number one. <laughs> Judgment will be called and that he will be get cut out if, you know, he's found out for loving <laughs> this woman. <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting like... Mm. King Kong can be... Um, brought, I don't want to say brought down, but, you know, can bring King Kong to his knees. <laughs> um, so is King Kong the one who's talking shit? Like, I don't understand. They're talking shit to you because they're like, they, they, got to, they got to, I don't know, like, convince people that you're the devil and they don't want nothing to do with you. That's what they're doing. That's what King Kong is doing over here. Okay, he's not so big. <laughs> King Kong ain't so big. Okay. Anything else for King Kong? King Kong thinks he can overpower you. That arguments and attacks is going to... Send you running. But I'm getting that it's not like if you do leave, it's not because you're running. It's because it's like, well, this isn't really my place. I was just passing through. <laughs> you know, um, I heard this really isn't my fight. I heard this isn't my fight. Um, I heard a true warrior would know a true ally. So whatever you're fighting for, this person would have been a good um, ally to have. And this person, you know, is like, I don't, I just something about the genie, like wishes coming true, like um, your plans being able to, to really move forward, gain traction, uh, things are seen a little bit more clearly, but this was about control, image, pride, ego. <clears throat> and when, when you allow your pride and ego to, to get the best of you, it, it really does, um, kind of bring you down it weakens you you know that's why it says King Kong is so big King Kong is huge you know <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like this energy it's not as big as this person would want people to believe like their energy is just yeah okay so this person is the one playing with the games yeah they're trying to hurt you man they want conflicts they want you stuck in your head man if you could do work online this is something that you guys probably do do uh you know it, um both of you work in this area this would have been um a good partnership too much on on king kong's plate too much on king kong's plate so a, a partnership, a good partnership would have been good. But no, this person is attacking the one that got sent to. <laughs> Damn. Damn, okay. Yeah, he walked away from it. It's like, okay, well, fine then. So like, walk away from, you know, all the abundance that God has for you. Stay, stay where where you're at. It's cool. And I don't, I don't want to say that this person's poor or broke or anything like that. But um, I heard poor in spirit. Yeah, this person, this person is a star. This person is um, God's chosen, you know. So this God's chosen was sent to King Kong to help him. Um, this person had too much on their plate. They wanted to play wicked games with this person that was sent to help them, you know, light to help lighten the load. And they were they've been talking shit. Okay, what's this, Ted? all 
of these. Okay. Okay. This person, okay. This person with the Ted. King Kong wouldn't, I don't know. This person didn't want to accept the, the help that was offered, you know, too much on their plate. God says, well, I'm sending you someone, right? I'm sending you someone to help <clears throat> lighten your load. And this person's like, no, I expect someone who's college educated and speaks properly. This person's a fool. I don't know about this person. They're not the right color. They're not the right, you know, religion. They're not the right, I don't know. They don't have the right credentials. But all their credentials are online, Spirit says. You just didn't want to see. Yeah, you just closed your eyes and killed it. You're like, okay. Because what you look at is like, I heard you have no vision of pro um, a soldier of God. Someone, someone in your position, I heard someone in your position has to have vision. But you... You choose to, to not see. You choose to not hear. You choose to stay in this prison. Even though someone comes with the truth, it might hurt a little bit because there's blood on her sword. The truth might hurt, but you refuse to listen. Because of how they look, how they speak, their race, their religion, something like that. So you don't take someone seriously unless they have certain credentials. Unless they're well established. You will not take them serious. Well, um, you're supposed to be able to see the... It's like, okay, this is this is one of the uh, problems I have with Christians or, you know, Christianity. Um, how they talk about the coming of Christ, that God, that God's, Jesus is going to come back, right? How would these motherfuckers even know what that looked like? Jesus, Jesus could be talking to them, you know, face to face. God could be, Jesus could be sitting right next to them. And these motherfuckers wouldn't even know. <laughs> these are the ones, the, you know, these are the people who would judge and condemn Jesus while claiming to be waiting for the return of Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Justice. High priestess. Someone thought that this person something about their looks the way they looked that they couldn't these people felt like they couldn't take someone seriously but okay whatever so anything else for this pile kind of messages I'm not taking all of these Hold on. let me get my cards look back there get my cards right. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. okay, final messages. Maybe you don't want a final message. I don't know. I'm going to get one anyways because the cards are being difficult. Yeah. You're, 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 you're trapped in your head. Do you want to accept the truth? You... Mm. love for someone, someone sexually attracted to someone, someone wants to offer love, but they are stuck 
they know that if they were to try and offer, if they wanted to offer this to someone, if they did offer this to someone, it would, it would cause a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments. People would call him, call this person, um, like someone, like a deceit, like someone who deceives his own people, you know, I don't know. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so the final message for this person who wants, who really is sexually attracted, has a lot of emotion for someone that they want to, they wish they could make an offer to another person, but they, they, they know that they can't, okay? So what does spirit have to say? This is your energy, page of pentacles. The work you do, um... I think to this person that you're rejecting is going to see you like this instead of this because this is how maybe the world sees you. Page of Pentacles, Emperor, Strength, someone who's very strong, a strong leader and you know you could be well off financially but this person that you are like you don't want to stir up trouble for sees you this way as this Page of Pentacles. They don't, they really can't take you seriously. Because you don't take yourself seriously enough to know that I am worthy of what I want. That you will allow the communities around you to dictate, um, to control your life and the way your life goes. Because you have to, you know, this is people pleasing. What is everybody going to say? Okay, that's something, that's something that I used to hear too. For my, what are the church people going to say? What are they going to think? And I remember thinking to myself, and I would, oh, I would get under my skin so bad because I was like, you know, all you care about, I would tell my parents, like, all they cared about was the, their, their image to the church people who were just as big as sinners as they were. You know, I just couldn't, in my, in my mind, I, it, I just couldn't understand how people cared so much about the opinions of others when these people were just as bad if not worse than, I don't know I, I'm, I'm kind of getting that it's like you, you're willing to sacrifice what you want what you truly want and what would truly make you happy because of what other people think and it, I think it has a lot to do with the, the, the type of work that someone did it's like I don't know. It's just you don't leave a lot of room for, you know, <laughs> you know, changing like, oh, you know what? Actually, this is maybe I was wrong about this way of thinking, you know, maybe we should reconsider. Now you if anything, you kind of like double down on the things that you know aren't right. So, yeah, the message for this person, this is the person that you're like trying to argue and fight with. This is how this person sees you. They don't really take what you what you're doing seriously I've heard I heard you can I know you could be you're you have the potential to be a better leader but you know at, the, at this point this person really doesn't take you seriously they don't take what you have to say seriously I heard it's very misleading it's, it's um it's dangerous it's dangerous so all right, that's what I have for that one. Let's see if we can do a short story. That was almost like a half, that was 25 minutes, almost 25 minutes. <clears throat> Let's get one more short story for. Okay, crying over you. Past, past life. So you could have had a, a past life with this person. that you're crying over, feeling blue. You have sins against God. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Maybe two.
two more cards. Sins against God. Really blue past life. Crying over you. No. They hate their life. I'm taking all of these. Valuable right there. These was a lot. Plain done. Crying over you, past life, feeling blue. They're crying over you, obviously feeling blue. This is a relationship from a past life. In this life, you were supposed to make things right. You sinned against God, but why? Bribe? You took a bribe. Laugh now, you cry later. Took a bribe to sexually manipulate your your person. Hmm. Okay, let's look at this real quick. Crying over you. They, they're a hoe, sexual manipulation. They took a bribe. Oh. So somebody was bribed to come in and kind of to, to sexually manipulate you, okay? That's what it is. Bribe. Sexual manipulation. That's what this is right here. That was a sin against God. Because you have... You have a past life with this person. What's the past life? You guys could have been lovers. You could have been um, a strong past life. This is a marriage and like you were married in a past life. The sin against God, you ended this by like sabotaging it, not taking not taking this relationship in, oh, seriously. And that's what you did again. Yeah, that's what you get, did again in this life. You could have had a, a, new, a beginning, a beautiful beginning, something very strong with this person. But because you, you chose to play with this person, um, you committed a sin against God. Justice. This was something that was supposed to be a gift for you. Yeah. Your love. Is, uh, you you committed a sin against like an angel. Someone that was of, from God. You laugh now. You cry later. You could have thought this was pretty funny. Because you were just fucking around. There's that hoe. Just fucking around on this person. Laughing. Thinking it was, you know, oh person ain't shit you know you felt like you were the prize whoever this person is you felt like you were the prize only to find out when this person left you you're, you're crying crying you you were laughing then now you're crying you're crying now you're crying now feeling blue because this person don't need you they're good they're good on their own Messages for pile number two. Your partnership, you walked away. You wanted to explore your options. And so Spirit says work on those options that you have since you wanted to be a hoe. Judgment's being called on you. This person is focused on their own thing. <clears throat> they don't want your dirty ass cup that everybody's been, you know, sticking their fingers in. So go ahead. Go on and <laughs> this person's like, nah, <laughs> I got to wash this over and over and over and over again. This cup that you're offering me because, you know, who knows who's been sticking their dirty ass wand in that cup. You know, no, thank you. <laughs> or the other way around, but, you know, you know what I mean. All right. You don't think someone, this person knows. Oh, they know. They know. They know. They know have the clarity of your deception that's why they cut you out they know 
This person knows you're just about games. Judgment, baby, judgment. This person isn't going to play these games with you. Okay. All right, that's what I have for box number one. I think I'm going to leave that there. We are going to move on to box number two. Arizona, emotional manipulation, rehab, stripper, dancer, confident. Getting the hell out of Dodge. Hiding something, sad news. Got a new love. Okay. Okay, you could be in you could be from Arizona. You, this person could be could be someone in Arizona or someone could be from Arizona. This person could be a dancer. Okay. What can you tell me about the stripper dancer? person doesn't want to do this anymore. They were man manipulated into doing this. It's emotional manipulation. There could be a masculine energy that's manipulating this person. This person could be from Arizona. Emotional manipulation, please. They're make they're, they're maybe they're getting this person to do something like that's how they're trying to get someone to do. They're manipulating this person into doing this kind of work, maybe even online to make money. They could be emotionally manipulating this person, saying, "Oh, yeah, on a stage for money." You know, online. It could be online, though. This person wants to get out of it. This person, you know, they could... You know, it takes confidence to to do this kind of stuff, right? And this person could be hiding that maybe... They, yeah. Maybe they're not as confident as they, they say they are. You know, they're being exposed for everybody to see for money. Their, their, their <clears throat> partner... From Arizona is manipulating them. If they're not doing this, they get in a, you know, there's this, this argument. So they could be hiding that they want to get out of Dodge. They want to get the hell out of Dodge. They don't know how to. There's a lot of confusion surrounding work, car, what they, yeah. Mm -hmm. They're hiding, they have issues with their work. They're having issues with their, uh, like a car. They're having issues with like cheating. And, oh my God, what the fuck? They could even be hiding that they need to go to rehab. Maybe um, in order to, to get through this, they have to drink. This person has to drink a lot. And so they developed a um, alcohol dependency. I heard, well, I'll bring a rehab, baby, Amy Winehouse. I'll bring the wine. Um, okay. Hmm. Yeah. So 
Lord, can you tell me about rehab? Three of Pentacles. This person has to drink or do some kind of drug to do this work. Work. So this person's worried that their their family's gonna find out that this is the kind of work that they do. Because their partner from Arizona um, makes them do this kind of work. This is trafficking. You try to pretend that you love them and you're so sexy and you're going to do what I say or else there's conflict. I heard James. This person from Arizona could be named James. His name could be James. What's going to be this the outcome for this person? going to be the outcome for this person conflict death ha huh. conflict and death you're trying to get away the devil's going to try to get away <clears throat> the authorities are watching and if you try to run away and the authorities don't catch you god's going to take you out For the work that you've done to probably many people. Hmm. Eh, if you don't, if this isn't your outcome, it's going to be prison. One or the other, prison or death. For your wicked ways. Wow. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Hey, yeah, Thanksgiving. It's gonna be interesting, huh, Arizona? Should be interesting. Hmm. All right, let's move on to the next short story. That was only seven minutes, cool. We're moving a lot faster. We might be able to do more for pile number two, box number two. All right. <clears throat> Jail, prison. <laughs> You're showing your ass. Okay. Anyways, I'm taking this stuff. Try this again. Short story for box number two. Short story for box number two. <coughs> Short story for box number two. Home. Still active. Wait. Skid row. Do not fear. Awoken and speed. I'm getting somebody wants to go home. Maybe um, Knight of Swords is coming in with some truth. It might be hard to hear. Maybe like maybe a family going home, right? They could be still actively using and something about their weight. Like they could have lost a lot of weight because of their drug use. Yeah, they're hiding like bones, you know. They could be really like they could have lost a lot of weight. They could be stealing money, like stealing money to pay for their addictions. Okay, I'm almost getting like Okay. Okay. 
like this person could still be actively using, right? And every time they come home, they steal. And so you're like, I don't even want them in my house because every time they come, they steal, you know? They're always up to something. I don't want them around. But I'm getting that this person might have, um, is finally burdened like Skid Row. They know the truth of what needs to be healed and how they ended up in this situation. So it's like they're having an, like they have awoken to their traumas and what they needed to do. And it could have something to do with some sexual abuse that happened in the past. Someone was dece de uh, deceitful, deceptive. They try to act like they were such a good person, causing so much harm and confusion. An emperor in reverse. It's a masculine that did this. That sexually abused someone. And they they started to, to deal with this. They started using drugs. They started using drugs and now they have awoken to what the real problem of, you know, the real source of their drug use. And I think they're wanting to to finally address it, you know? It was my father or grandfather. Yeah, this person's going to end up in prison because the truth is going to come out. Once someone speaks on this, it's going to change things for this person. Yeah. The star that's... The star speaks of recovery and healing, a time of recovery and healing. That's what's going to happen once <clears throat> someone gets the courage to, to speak up about what they've experienced <clears throat> from a father or grandfather figure. Yeah. There's a lot of illusions like walking away from the illusions that this person was very loving if anything this person was anything but loving yeah they they, mm, they were deceptive and burdensome a tyrant this person is a tyrant so somebody could have been using drugs maybe still actively using but they want to come without fear to to speak on what really happened this person is finally kind of awoken to what really happened to them. They could have been blocking this out. You know, something about their weight. They either lost a lot of weight or gained a lot of weight. Can you tell me about weight? Sounds like people would always like tell them you you know at home like you need to work on your weight something about that I don't know it's a lot of um just making them yeah like the arguments like I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it I don't want to hear it there was a lot of um emotional and and mental abuse in this home physical too with the fathers grandfather sexually abusing this kid okay let's see if we can get final messages for this group there will be healing though going home to tell people of what happened but um really that's what it's saying like you're going home to address this with people in your life your family but it's not to like go home to rebuild and um fix it it's almost to like address what happened and then that way you can move on i don't think you plan on staying here 
and I don't think it's the plan for you to stay here. It's important for you to end whatever connections that you need to end within this family dynamic. It doesn't mean that you're cutting off everybody from your family, but there's definitely people that you know that you need to cut off. And it could be this masculine as well as his enablers. This could be anyone in your family that allows this man to continue these devilish ways, man. You're, there's, these people in their family in the family are enabling this behavior if you don't speak on it knowing that it's going on you're just as guilty for allowing it to continue because you don't speak up the only thing that I could excuse not speaking up is if you, you're afraid for you know your safety or the safety of others um, but other than that it's just like <laughs> If things aren't gonna, if things aren't really happening, they they sh you know it shouldn't it shouldn't be an issue. But uh, I know false alleg accusations are, are are a real thing. But <sighs> mm -hmm. things sometimes things have to be spoken on, and. Um, there could be a lot of people that are covering up for this person because this person is seen as a leader in the community and spirits like nope this person is going to go down um so yeah i think someone's going home to speak up on this person who has done this and it's going to really shift things mm -hmm. in this person's life they're going to be able to heal move forward because they're cutting out all the toxic people in their lives and all the enablers. So yeah, that's what's that's what's going on here for pile number two. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.